Hello and welcome to Happy Dish. My name is Dana and today I want to present this amazing cake with chocolate and mint and I want to give you all the tips and tricks on how to achieve this. So for the sponge cake I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to need chocolate, dark one and I have here 120 grams of, uh, of dark chocolate that I'm going to melt. Also for eggs I'm going to separate them, egg whites from egg yolks. Always in cakes we need salt, a pinch of salt, I'm going to use as well. One teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of butter or um, 200 grams and I'm using a butter that has 60% fat. Besides uh, this, I'm going to need uh, yogurt and I have here two small uh, cups, in total 250 grams of yogurt. Two cups of flour and I'm using all-purpose uh, flour. And uh, mint extract and it's going to go amazing with the chocolate and you know this already. 60 milliliters of uh, hot water or half a cup and of course we need sugar and I'm going to use two cups of, uh, of sugar. The sponge cake is very easy to prepare but first we need to melt the chocolate and in order to do that I'm going to uh, have to use some uh, boiling water in a pot and over that I'm going to place the, the bowl with the chocolate. Careful the, the base of the bowl not to touch the hot water and just leave the chocolate there for a few minutes and you'll see that it is going to melt. And after this you just have to let it aside until you, you're going to be ready to use it. So now the egg whites, I'm going to mix them with a pinch of salt until they're going to be like a meringue and I'm going to transfer them in another bowl and save them for later. In the same, uh, in the same uh, mixing bowl I'm going to mix the butter that is at room temp and over it I'm going to add sugar and mix until this is going to be fluffy. Of course I need to add the egg yolks one by one and incorporate them well and after that the chocolate that I melted earlier. mix well and of course next is going to be the yogurt. I'm going to add it and uh, incorporate it well. Hot water is going over everything with everything and I make sure to, to mix really good with the mixer when I'm adding this hot water. Of course I have to add um, mint extract because this cake it's all about chocolate and mint and make sure to incorporate this as well and these are pretty much the you know, wet ingredients. Next we have to add dry ingredients and those are um, flour. Of course I'm going to add it now and uh, while mixing and of course the baking powder. This will, uh, will allow us to have an even uh, baked sponge cake. Let's not forget about the um, egg whites, right? We mix those uh, the beginning of the recipe. I'm going to fold them in gradually, not all of them at once. And this time I'm not, I'm not going to use the mixer. As you can see, I'm using a spatula and I'm just folding them but make sure not over mix but uh, still to have an even uh, mixture right just use the spatula and just fold the uh, egg whites add the rest of the flour that I saved and the um, egg whites I'm going to prepare the, um, the tray I have here baking paper in the oven uh, tray and pour the batter in the in that tray 
level the batter with the spatula again the oven is already preheated 180 celsius or 350 fahrenheit and i'm going to bake this sponge cake for about 20 25 minutes make sure to do the test with a toothpick and uh, if, it's, if you stick a toothpick in the sponge cake and that comes out clean that means that the sponge uh, cake is uh, is baked so i did that and after you bake it you have to let it cool down okay for the filling of the cake i'm going to use one can of condensed milk sweetened one three packs of uh, butter each 170 grams this is about 500 grams of um, cold butter and this one is with 80 percent fat at least mint uh, extract again and 100 grams of uh, dark chocolate again i have to melt the chocolate first and over the water bath i'm going to place the bowl the hot underneath is uh, steaming boil so uh, just keep that over the, the uh, hot water until it's going to melt in the meantime as you can see the sponge cake is baked i'm going to try to peel the the paper of the edges and just let it cool down the chocolate has melted so i'm going to leave it aside until i'm going to uh, use it again i'm going to whisk the, um, the butter with a mixer until it's going to be fluffy it is room temp but still cold i mean it is soft but still cold add uh, condensed milk and this one i kept in the fridge at least one hour before using it you don't need to add any sugar in this uh, uh, filling because uh, this condensed milk has uh, has a lot of sugar it is sweet enough and because of this sweetened uh, milk this frosting is going to be amazing i'm adding now chocolate and i'm mixing uh, well make sure to scrape that bowl add mint extract a few drops or depending of your uh, extra that you are using try to taste from the frosting and you will see if you need to add more and this is the frosting you can use it for cakes or for uh, cupcakes it is delicious and i love it for sure i'm going to make it it is one of the the finest frosting i ever made because i didn't use any powder sugar i'm um, cutting the the sides of the sponge cake to make it more nicely and also i'm cutting the sponge cake in four pieces I'm assembling now the cake between the sponge cake um, layers I'm going to put frosting and also I'm going to cover the cake with the same uh, frosting it is enough trust me for this uh, for this cake make sure to have enough to put between the layers and all over the cake cover it keep it in the fridge for about 30 minutes or even in the freezer for 10 minutes I, uh, I decorated with um, sugar paste but it's up to you how you want to decorate it, it keeps uh, keep it as your imagination or yeah I'm just using this sugar paste I'm uh, kneading it well and I will uh, stretch it with a rolling pin roll it out with a rolling pin and uh, cover the cake with it from uh, gum paste though I made uh, roses that I placed on top of the cake and um, I used some golden powder golden dust eatable one which uh, with I uh, I glazed a bit the, the roses on on the edges make sure to keep the cake in the fridge before you uh, serve it and make sure to have friends and family over to share it with so yeah a very easy recipe a very amazing and delicious cake that i uh, i uh, advise you to try it out and yeah decorate it 
as best as you can and enjoy it with your uh, loved ones thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe come back again for another recipe and uh, until uh, next time uh, stay safe find reasons to smile bye bye